In today's video, I'll briefly be introducing you to our latest continuous catalytic reforming reactor, also referred to as uh, CCR. Um, continuous catalytic reforming is um, a very well-known process used in virtually all modern refineries where low octane feedstocks continue, uh, containing mostly alkanes are converted to either branched alkanes or a mixture of aromatics, ultimately BTX components, which form then a uh, high uh, octane value uh, blend, which is then a, a valuable fuel. Um, in this case, we have a three reactor system. I can only show one module of it today due to space constraints. This is actually one of the reforming reactors itself. The other two reactors are a um, second reforming reactor as well as an upstream uh, hydro treating reactor. The hydro treating reactor is often used in the first step to remove heteroatoms like sulfur or nitrogen, which can be catalyst poisons for the CCR catalyst. And then we go in reactor series configuration from that hydro treating reactor through a stripper, where we can do intermediate sampling, for example, and then we continuously feed the product from that step into one or both of these CCR reactors. So we can do one or both of these in parallel. Mm. One of the particularly challenging things when doing CCR is um, having the ability also to, to do so-called ISO-RON uh, reforming testing. That means uh, m measuring the product concentration continuously online and slowly tweaking the temperature of the reactor itself. Um, that's how it's actually done at the plant. So as you, over time, slowly get uh, deactivation, you then slowly increase the reactor temperature in very, very small increments. That is one possibility we can do here at ILS. Uh, one of the other main challenges of this unit was um, the ability to do online reactivation uh, via uh, oxyfluorination. So this unit has been designed in a way which allows the client to very safely purge the system of hydrogen. And then uh, in one of two different ways, introduce chlorine and usually in the presence of steam to the system. We have uh, in one case up here, the ability to introduce chlorine in extremely uh, well-defined and small pulses. Or uh, we have a second system uh, located down here in the back where we can uh, co-feed continuously very low volumetric flow rates of chlorine with a uh, feedstock. So either doing continuous chlorination or here intermediate pulse chlor uh, chlorination during the oxychlorination step. Mm, as usual, we measure all of the off gas, as you see on the other side with a Ritter gas meter, so we know the volumetric flow rates coming off. We have the ability to collect all of the liquid samples here at low temperatures because we have fairly low boiling components, and all of those liquid samples can then be subsequently un analyzed uh, offline by the client. Um, the unit is especially designed to handle things like green oils, which often occur uh, when uh, going from the oxychlorination step back to the reaction itself and um, because we're working with chlorine intermittently we have uh, HCl being formed which is why at the head of this unit which you can't see we have a caustic stripper um, which ensures that any chlorine or HCl which is evolved uh, during the course of reaction or regeneration is effectively stripped from all of the off gas preventing it from accumulating in the ventilation system of our client and ultimately uh, resulting for example in corrosion issues. Um, if you're interested in learning more about how ILS can help you with your continuous catalytic reform uh, testing, um, please contact us. We'd be pleased to talk to you.